This week's quick questions with Jamie Hughes. Right, so first one. You've got the Be choice nice. yep. to win one more final. Only one? Yeah. Maver, Fisho, or Golden Maver? Oh, uh, which one's the most money? Maver, uh, <laughs> <in> it now? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Maver. Yeah. Like it, it should be Fisher because that's what's given me the most in terms of everything. But I want that Maver. That Maver's being amazing. close a couple of times, it's like. Yeah, I should have had that one. Maver. Yeah, definitely Maver. What, that year with Winnie? Is that the one? No, that weirdly be? not. Right, we're going with Rich. What have you started here? Right, no. I should have won the first one, the Andy Powell one. I was shocking. Like, unbelievably shocking. I think I had 34 kilo. I think he won it with 38, 39. Oh, was that back when it was at Larford? First ever one. Yeah. The amount of fish I lost because just through inexperience and bad feeding and everything, horrific. I just wanted to throw in that, yeah, I should have had 60 kilo. I'm useless. That's my biggest regret in fishing now. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I should have won. Um, yeah, that's probably the closest one I can think of. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, Maver. 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 Yeah. Mm. Your biggest ever fish? Don't know. I, I think it'll be a catfish in Thailand. When I went to Thailand, definitely. How about like match fishing? Red, red, match, red. match fishing, don't know. I mean, no, it's just a normal one, a meat kong one, ugly one. That's not a normal catfish. Well, it's it's a normal, normal catfish, there, like the Wells one. Oh, I've only caught one of them at Cudmore, a little diddy one. Have you? Yeah, a little diddy, little diddy one. And they sent me down and said catfish there, so we caught some catfish. <laughs> but, um, no, I don't know. Don't know, never had a, that's massive, I want to weigh it fish. Yeah. I'd say I'd, somewhere between 18 and 20 pounds. I don't reckon... I don't know if I had twenty pounds or not. Yeah. So yeah, even if you have, you could have just you'd have probably just yeah. caught it, chucked it straight chucked in your net, weighed it in. It'll, it'll be it. a Boddington or Larford or Barston fish. One of them it'll be. Yeah. I remember I caught one here. I'm off on one again. I caught one on Bridgepool. It was the last day of the festival, and I drew a dead dodgy peg up the top of bridge. It, who knows what number it was then? And um, ten minutes to go, I've hooked one down the edge, thinking it was a barbel, and I've landed it sixteen pound twelve ounce mirror. Biggest fish I've ever had at, hmm. at Erinbrook. Well, some of those we were catching over on. They were some on big there. boys, weren't it? It's probably one of them that had got into <laughs> a long time ago. This, but I won the section by one ounce, and that one fish oh. won me the festival. Loving that. Yeah, and it, it was like twenty pound won the section. Yeah. I've had this sixty pound. So that may as well have been the heaviest because it was the most. It was the most. Back, it it yeah. won me the most money. That one big fish. Yeah. yeah. Very nice bit. Mm. Uh, Favorite method. Uh, at the minute, <laughs> short pole for car. Short pole with big hard pellets of carp at the minute. Yeah. But next month it'll be something else. Yeah. I'm having a little break from waggler fishing, so yeah. Short pole. <laughs> I'll plant them in it. It's pole and pellets, isn't it? That's what I do. I approve. Yeah. I approve. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest ever match weight. Um it was at Mescar last year. I had three hundred and sixty two or sixty four pounds. Are them weights silly? Yeah, stupid. It's not that's not fishing, that's catching. Is that when you run out of nets as well? Or? It's I had to borrow I had four with me, and I think I had to borrow another four or three or four. Or, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just daft. Stupid. You're running around. If, if I could have fished all day, I'd have caught 400 pounds. But it's, you know, it was a one-off, to be fair, Mescar's my favourite place ever yeah. at the minute. Yeah. It was a one-off daft day. Really frustrating thing for me. I went to uni at Edge Hill University in Ormskirt. Yeah. Mescar, 15 minutes up the road. You didn't didn't realise till my oh, final year. That's not good. <laughs> no, I could have had me gear there. And... It's, a, it's a lovely place, mate. But that, that's nice, civilised. That's it, that's it. I saw you talk about this with Des, and I wanted to be involved in that conversation. Yeah, it's, it's out of hand. Too many fish are getting caught now, weights wise. Yeah, Do you know what I mean, it's not fishing; it's catching. Give me a sensible sized fish, under to hundred twenty pound every day of the week. I mean, that's a lovely day's thinking about fishing, isn't I it? I think, yeah. as you say, with that, like Mescar, that's that was a one-off oh, that random was a, day. An anomaly. It's not, it's not yeah. one of those venues you go into every week knowing you need three hundred pounds. No, because you'd have taken your eight nets if you thought it was oh, going to be. Well, I, I think venue record before that was two hundred and five pounds. Yeah, which was, so was excuse me a week remote. before, and it was just a one-off crazy one. That solid though. Right. Yeah. Um, strangest thing you've ever seen out on the bank? I'm not going to say strangest thing. It was like something weird, right? In the it happened here, right here, and all the fish. There used to be a tunnel here. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know this one? You, it was oh. me lazy peg, right? So whenever I had a feature at Heronbrook in the winter, but I keep saying with me coaching between. Who knows? Sometime in November until until it gets lively. You sit on your own, you can't get a bike. You, no matter who you are, you cannot get a bike. You sit down and all the fish swim off. We used to have these tunnels here that went between uh, Bridge and Big Lake, but they were blocked off on the bridge side. And every F1 in the lake used to go in them tunnels. So we used to come do a feature, not get a bike, pull a land there in there. Every every scoop with a net, you get £50. It was like instant catch-up done. <laughs> and we used to come you, and do that. You, you was on about it to us, and I was like... 
Did it? Like, we did yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, what, what's he on about? Like thinking you was over exaggerating, thinking you might get one or two sort. Yeah. And you've kind of like big and map four meter handles at the time, like pushed it right to the end. You like lift it up, you just because it's under your feet going behind you. You just like it's feel strange, the ground shaking it? almost. <laughs> and it's like every was every single like big like two three pound thousands F1. of them, weren't they? It's like. It must. There must have just been like stacked up like. Oh, you, you couldn't fit any money. I think it was cormorants. They used to get a few cormorants on the end of winds, didn't they? And it was the one place they could get and be safe. Yeah. But it was crazy. That, yeah. That yeah, must was... have been before my time on the no. magazines. I was <laughs> no. <laughs> tactics. <laughs> you, at, at three o'clock when we haven't had a bite and you yeah. want to catch up, you'd be saying, yeah. "Get landing there. No. Get them." <laughs> I, need the page, I need the pages, Jamie. Get it done. Well, that was a one. It was when we was doing that uh, Dobbin filming with Matt. Yeah. Um, we'd fired in front of it all. You, you get you don't the odd get a bite. bite. But you, yeah. You, it was like one or two bites after like 20 minutes of sitting there. It is, isn't it? You For think it should be fish. solid, shouldn't you? But that just proves like when they don't want to feed in the winter and when they're happy where they are, they do, they're just not eating. They just aren't. don't eat. Yeah, it's nothing it's you money can do. they don't eat. Like, what, what do we talk about? With, it's, I talk about this with Steel a lot. And we reckon like 5% of the fish feed in the winter in commercials. Mm. The others just simply do not feed. A lot of them aren't even... I'm going to say in the lake, but of course they're in the lake, but I've seen it on, on Medipool here. They're literally, they're in 10 inches of water behind trees, like buried in weeds, and yeah. they're, they're not well, in there That's why you see catch. so many fish, it, like coming out of winter with so many leeches on them and yeah. everything, because they're literally, they're, they're, they don't move for that long, because they've got their head in, like you say, head in reeds. Yeah, just dormant, aren't they? Bugs, bugs land on them, the, the leeches stick on them, and you sometimes, or they're just like got their head in the sill yeah. and they, they do nothing. Yeah. And, that's why, because they, they're not moving. They, they, those those bugs can just land on them and sit on them, can't yeah. they? Basically, well, I think proper proper carp as well. There's pictures of like where people have like filmed underwater, where middle of winter they've like half buried themselves in the silt, just because I think it retains that little, little bit more heat. Or something, yeah, yeah, and obviously it's then you're getting onto the whole. There's certain layers of water that are going to be warmer, which is where you like bomb and bread fishing and stuff. That yeah. you can find that one depth where they're at, or you might like, get a bite. Dobbins the same, minute going the other way. Yeah. Where they're just going to be a big ball of them somewhere. Mm, a technical M Rich. I did. You did. It's not a very quick fire mm. question, is no. it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Angler you would least like to draw next to? Nathan, every day. I know we've used Nathan as a butter joke. Nathan before. Watson. Yeah, Nathan Watson every day. Just he burns your brain out, doesn't he? <laughs> he doesn't shut up all day. <laughs> I like Nathan, but no. I don't want to be next to Nathan. Steve's just had him last two matches on the bounce. Oh, no. That, that hurts, doesn't it? For no. Lovely lad, but. Yeah, he doesn't shut up. <laughs> Lovely. In man. fact, no, I'm going to change my mind. I'm sick of getting beat by Andy Power as well. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Don't want to be next to Power anymore. He beat me twice last year. Yeah. Well, he's already been banned by... Um, has he been banned, Andy Power? And Rob, I think. Banned. No, Andy Bennett got banned. Bennett's banned. I'll ban Power. Oh, if yeah. we'll ban no, you're people. banning Power. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, has Nathan ever actually beat you? <laughs> no, Nathan's not caught many fish, has he? But when he's like solid 18. He's a lovely lad. Yeah, but no. Did win the show once. He did? Not done a lot since. No. <laughs> just moaned on Facebook. Um, eighty pound a bream or two hundred and fifty pound a carp? Neither. Seventy pound F ones in the winter. That wasn't an option. Well, that's all I'm having. No, I, don't know. I can only catch F ones. So what other <laughs> options trying to give me? Seventy pound. Uh, no, Seventy seven on the partridge Christmas match this Ooh, year. Did you? Yeah. Did you win? Third, it was. Hundred and fifty anglers there. That normally win that. One, one more, yeah, but Holbar was in in that one. Oh, that caught some big fish, didn't it? Mm. Mm. I'm um, looking forward to that this year, actually. Again. What are we on again? Eighty pound a bream or two hundred and fifty. Yeah, eighty pound a bream. Feed, well, you're becoming a feeder master now, aren't yeah. you? That's, that's feed, feed an angler now. I've got to catch bream. They're very Fuck noisy geese. You're dog chasing them, Jake. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> They're just being laps above us. Yeah. Bit noisy. Uh, let them pass. Not that. So, you know, nice bit of ambient noise as people like drive into matches. <laughs> What's going on there? A little I think they're going roost somewhere now. It's roosting time. Them little six have just got left behind there, like Mr. Yeah. Draw. Yeah. <laughs> Last question. Who is your all-time angling hero? I, I wouldn't say I've, I've had an individual that's the one I'd, I'd go to. So there have been a few in different phases. Definitely, Mark Pollard was definitely my first one. Yeah. When I was first aspiring to be a match angler. And was, now you uh, you work alongside uh, bash side him. him you bash him up on oh, commercials. Horrible. Oh, it was It was upset. It was actually upsetting to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like doing it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but anyway, I felt yeah. so sorry. For Polly had definitely been one of the first. I'd say Neil Machen and Andy Morse were two I massively looked up to in the the early commercial days. I say they were the 
the, the face to fish pellets. I mean, mm. to fish pellets properly, they made it. I mean, a very very popular method. I'd say them, Neil and Andy, they were huge. Very much so, Neil. Yeah. So I've become I'm mates, very good mates with a pair of them now. Yeah. Don't see Andy as much as as much these days, but yeah. Um, and since then things have changed a bit. Now I, I, I just talk to sort of three people a lot. I talk to two of my very good mates, or three of my very good mates. Uh, Stay open, sure. Matty does, and little Craig, little Craig Oldstraw. Yeah. Do you know what I mean they're all phenomenal anglers and they, they help me out a massive amount they'll bounce an ideas off I mean, they become I mean I'm very in a fortunate position to mix it with the best anglers in the country the best commercial anglers in the country so they're, they're not quite as you don't look at them in the same yeah. light anymore now they're just it's Andy Power it's Andy Bennett they're, they're my mates yeah. I know them yeah. now it's a little bit different I, I miss all them days of being a kid and looking up and thinking wow do you know what I mean being in awe of and I remember at Alan Scott and I went to the Oaks and this was years, years and years ago. And Alan Scott almost two pegs when I was like, wow. Do you know what I mean? That's Alan. And yeah. he smashed me up on hide with meat shallow or something dead random. But I miss them days of being in awe of, yeah. of seeing someone. We'll do it with Terry now. I want, I want to meet him with Terry Rich. Sort yeah. it. I love I Terry. Know. In fact, yeah. And, he, Andy probably can sort it. He's dynamite, can. isn't it? Oh, yeah, sort of that. He's me, in fact, he's my hero at the minute. Terry Herb. Because he, he loves fishing. Yeah. And I proper miss that, Jake. It's inspirational films that he does. It, it's just, video. he's what fishing is about. Yeah. I mean, I missed that. Yeah. Well, I think it was Abby saying it last week where it is almost where you go around a the commercial, there's people like pleasure fishing that it, they're fairly early on and they're getting like, they catch a two pound carp and they're mega excited about it, like yeah. parading it around and everything. It's like you don't you don't get it now, do you? It's, you you kinda, don't appreciate you, it anymore, do we? Yeah, when it's match it and then when you, when you just come pleasure fishing, you kind of, it's not the same, is it? Because mm -hmm. it's not a match, but. Yeah, it's all, it's lost its. The excitement of the the childhood, doesn't it? We'll wrap it up because uh, we're about to get some by again. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we could get a bombardment. They want us on. Right, Jamie, thank you very much um, for coming on it this week's been Matchcast. A pleasure, gentlemen. I have loved that. Brilliant. Thank you very much. We're good.